Hey Catalyst, generate a video for the POV niche. Now generate a video for the motorbike POV niche. Now create a video for the miniature niche. I just discovered an incredible AI tool that's perfect for YouTube automation and creating viral TikTok videos. This might be one of the most powerful tools out there right now. This talk is not baseless because the tool literally covers 70% and up to 90% of the viral or trending niches at this time. Let me introduce you to a tool called Catalyst AI. It's designed to help you create visual stories with consistent characters thanks to its powerful storyboard AI technology. You can choose to input your own script or simply let the AI generate one for you in seconds. Now, let's explore Explore what this tool can do by creating a few videos together. The first thing you'll notice when you open the homepage, besides how smooth and simple it is, is the wide range of trending niches available. There are so many that it can feel overwhelming, which is why you'll find categories listed at the top to help you navigate. So, let's start with the Generate from Idea or Script feature. This is especially useful if you have a unique idea that's different from the templates available on the platform. From here, you can either upload a ready-made script from your device or simply type out your idea. For example, a documentary about the attempted escape of three prisoners from Alcatraz. Let's say your channel focuses on documentary content. In just seconds, a complete script will be generated for you without the hassle of switching between different AI chat tools. So take two minutes to read through the script, and if you find any part you'd like to edit, just click the pencil icon on the right. You'll get access to make changes instantly. Before moving to the next step, choose the number of scenes and the video format. 16 by nine for long-form videos, 9x16 for reels and shorts, and 1x1 one one for Instagram posts. Now, the next step is to choose the most suitable style for your video. There are plenty of options like anime, cartoon, 1950s style, and more. But for a documentary, the most fitting style is the cinematic one. Here, it suggests a few characters that will appear in the documentary. You can edit them as needed. We'll dive deeper into this feature shortly. As you can see, we have images for every scene in the script. These images are based on specific locations. If you click on a location, you'll see the exact prompt the tool used to generate that image. You can change the prompt if you want to create a different setting, or even assign a different location for each image. Let me show you something cool. I'll select this image. Here's the prompt that generated it. You can not only edit this prompt, but also change the camera angle and location. Let's tweak a few things and generate a new version. As you can see, the result we just edited looks better than the previous image or scene. Now, if you want to animate the image, just click on the video option. You can describe the action or any specific elements you want to appear in the video or leave it blank, and the tool will analyze the scene and generate the most suitable prompt automatically. Then, choose the video duration, five or 10 seconds. After that, select the video generation model. Some of the most powerful options include Runway Gen 4 Turbo, Google VO2, and Kling Pro, each with its own strengths and unique features. I'll choose Runway Gen 4 Turbo because it's fast, it can generate a video in just 50 seconds. As you can see, the video was generated in even less time than that. Over here on the left, you have the character posing tool. With this tool, you can change the positioning of characters within the frame. This is super useful because sometimes AI generates an image, but the characters aren't where you want them and you can't move them. But with Catalyst, there's a simple solution. You can easily drag and place the characters wherever you want. And it's not just about their position. You can double click a character to open more options. For example, you can make the man point toward the bottom of the image or adjust other aspects of the pose. Now, the second tool is the image crop tool. You can use it to crop out any part of the image you don't like. For example, let's say the left side looks a bit messy or the visual isn't appealing, you can simply crop it out. Right below the crop tool, you'll find the generative fill tool. This lets you easily remove or add elements to the image. Just highlight the area you want to edit and type in what you'd like to appear. For instance, let's put the man's mask on. As you can see, he now looks almost like Batman. Or you can upload an image from your device here if you want to. All right, now let's close this page and go back to the previous one. Click the create video button. This will start generating and preparing the video and it will take us to the timeline page. On a cold June night, Alcatraz waits. If you notice the voiceover shown in blue beneath the scenes is spaced out too much. This creates gaps which aren't ideal for the viewer, so I'm going to move them closer together. Also, after doing that, you'll notice that the scenes are no longer in sync with the voiceover, so we'll need to adjust each scene by dragging the clips to match them perfectly with their corresponding voiceover. Now that we've finished these adjustments, you can turn all the images into videos at once by clicking the Generate All Videos button. As I mentioned earlier, you'll find several video generation models to choose from. Pick the one that fits your credits best. Personally, I recommend Google's VO2 because it's extremely powerful. For now, 
I'll skip this step. Once you're completely done setting up your video, click the export button to finalize it. You'll find several export options, such as exporting it as a presentation for Adobe Premiere Pro if you want to make more advanced edits, or simply as a standard MP4 video. Now that we've explored how the tool works and gone through most of its features, let's go back to the homepage. It's time to check out some of the trending niche templates. The first niche is motorbike POV, which is currently trending and gaining popularity, especially on TikTok. I see that the tool suggests a video idea and theme. POV first-person view of riding a vintage motorcycle across the world. So, I'll go with this idea and choose 15 scenes. Here, just set the video format to 916 for a short video. There's no need to read the script, since these types of videos don't rely on voiceover. Now let's switch up the style to break away from the usual cinematic look. Let's try the 1950s style, for example. As you can see, the motorcycle stays consistent across all the scenes and different locations. Now, let's change the location from Australian Outback to Egypt Pyramids and make it the starting point of the video. I'm going to delete some of the images so the video isn't too long when I show you a sample. Just give me a few seconds to keep only the best scenes. Now I'll move to the timeline page to convert all the images into videos at once. No need to repeat the steps I've already shown you how to do it. It literally took only 30 seconds to generate all the images into videos, so let's watch a short clip from it. As you saw in the video, this niche is really fun and entertaining. Exactly like this next niche, Miniature Culinary. Honestly, to cover all the trending niches available on the platform, I'd need to make a video that's at least four hours long. So I'll speed up the video creation process a bit. I won't repeat everything to avoid unnecessary filler. Everything is really simple and smooth with Catalyst. I saved the best part for last you can create a film or video using images of a consistent character, and that's exactly what we're going to do now. For example, let's create a movie trailer starring a single character who's trying to survive on a creepy deserted island and make his way back to his city. I'll choose the 16 to 9 format, which is the most suitable for long-form videos. And I'll keep the style as cinematic because it delivers highly realistic results. Now, click on the pencil icon below the character's image to display its details. Then, click on Change Appearance to replace it with our own character. You'll find many ready-made characters, but we're going to click on Create from Scratch. Now, you have two options. Either describe your character's appearance or simply upload a photo. For best results, make sure to use a clear, well-lit photo with the face looking straight at the camera. Avoid using images with sunglasses or heavy accessories and ensure the photo is high quality at least 512 by 512 pixels for optimal character generation. Finally, save the character and create the project. As you can see, the scenes are incredibly realistic and the character is consistent in every detail. The face, clothing, body, everything. So, my advice for you right now is to create multiple channels, for example, three to five, each focused on a different niche. Post one video per day on each channel consistently. If you follow this strategy, I can almost guarantee that at least one or two of your channels will succeed. All right, now I'm going to make a few adjustments and convert the images into videos. This will take me about five minutes, and then we'll watch the final result together. Before we check out the final result, I invite you to try Catalyst.ai for free using the link in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Thrown by the storm, Evan awakens on a hostile shore. Where am I? Shadows flicker. Just keep moving. A distant glimmer. Someone was here before. Rain offers relief. This might actually float. Against the waves, hope drives him forward. Home. I see it. 